welcome to this auto stem uh, movie about mathematics together with the automata. My name is Oliver Thiel. And my name is Signe Maria Hansen. But what is then mathematics, Oliver? Mathematics is the science of patterns. And the pattern is a very special structure with a certain regularity. And patterns are very interesting and beautiful, but they are uh, useful as well. Because if you discover in a certain situation the structure, that will help you to act in a meaningful way. And if you discover a similar structure, a similar pattern in a different, in another situation, then that will help you to act in this new situation, even if it is a totally new situation. And I have an example of two uh, similar structures. Uh, when we use the automata, uh, the snapping crocodile has a very interesting mechanism. And But here we have a different uh, toy, a different automaton with the same uh, mechanism, but it is doing uh, different things. So the, the crocodile is snapping, but uh, and the flower is, is growing. But if you have understood the mechanism once, then uh, you have understood a lot of mathematics. Yeah, because you transfer the uh, pattern from one situation to another. But mathematics can also be a language. A language we have to learn connected to the concepts that we use being mathematical. And that can be uh, spatial concepts and there can be other concepts, which is used also in the all day language, but also mathematical. And then when working with younger children, it can be useful to see mathematics the way Alan Bishop did, as an enculturation. Yes, Alan Bishop is a uh, British mathematician and he was interested how do uh, people acquire mathematical knowledge. And uh, he traveled around the world and observed and discovered that uh, different cultures express mathematics in very different ways, mm -hmm. but there are similar similarities. He identified six fundamental universal mathematical activities that you can find in all cultures, and uh, they are important for young children as well. Mm. And these we can use to see what's mathematical uh, working with automata. And uh, these six fundamental activities are locating and designing, counting and measuring, explaining and playing. Yes. And now we will uh, see uh, the two possible ways to, at, or at least it's at least two possible ways to work with the uh, automata. Uh, you can either play and show the automata to the children and that might give them a wish to build them. So thereafter you build the automata or you start the process with building and thereafter the children are playing with what they have built. And now we will go a little bit further into what kind of mathematics do we have when building a automata. The most obvious maybe is designing because every automaton has a design and that means it is uh, made out of shapes, uh, natural shapes uh, or mathematical shapes like rectangles and they are arranged in a specific way and uh, here we have, so we have designing and locating. Uh, and when we take uh, the crocodile as an example, we have rectangles 
and the rectangles are arranged so that there are three parallel rectangles on one side of the crocodile and three parallel rectangles that go in the different direction but are parallel as well on the other side or on the upper side and the down side or the right hand side and the left hand side of the crocodile. And then uh, you have the, the split pins and they have to be arranged very precisely uh, in order to make the crocodile work. So there is one split pin in each center of each rectangle and then there are, there are two other ones on the ends. So that is uh, designing and locating and uh, the children will experience those activities when playing but uh, foremost when making the crocodile. Yes, and also when making we are using counting and measuring. Yes, that are the next two uh, activities. Measuring, so that is about the size of the shapes, all rectangles have to have that same size and you can compare this directly. So here you can see that it is the same length or you can measure it in, in centimeter, for example, or in inch. And uh, the crocodile is changing its size. So in this uh, position, position it is very short and in this position it is very long and here the uh, the t's are narrow to each other and uh, now they are far away because the mouth is wide open and related to measuring is counting and counting here is about counting how many parts do we need three rectangles on one side and three rectangles on the other side that is six three rectangles all together and then we need one two three four five six seven eight nine split pins uh, that have to go through the holes and uh, we can count the, the piece as well so there are five here and four here so that is nine here together. Uh, so uh, a lot of possibilities for counting. And you can uh, as well use the crocodile to, uh, to grab something and lift something up, but that uh, is not to be too heavy because if the object is too heavy, then it will not work. Mm. And the last two fundamental activities of Bishop is reasoning and playing. And reasoning is in use while building, uh, because you might need to do some reasoning yourself to see how this is built and putting it together. Or if you are not able to see the relationships, maybe someone ha has to help you doing the reasoning. Yes, so the teacher can explain how the children can build uh, the crocodile or the children can discover it by themselves. And there are some parts of the structure that are very obvious that the children will discover. Uh, but others are um, maybe more difficult to discover. Uh, here I have an example that is not, has not uh, the same pattern as this one and then the children and that happens very often that the children uh, make something like this and then they can experience oh that is not moving so smoothly as the other one and uh, it's, uh, it's very difficult to make it short so something is wrong so and then we can maybe compare to find out oh, what is uh, the problem here. Yes, uh, this one has to be on the upper side here, so we have to fix it. Mm -hmm. 
and then I can take it apart and try once more and maybe they discover okay this time it's much more smoother than the uh, first time and that is then reasoning and the same is we have then showed the two different approaches and they might play at the start and then build or they play in the end after building and and if you are playing yeah no it's very smooth mm -hmm. and if you are playing uh, and you are not agreeing about the rules then after some time or very shortly the play will fall apart because uh, the um, without agreement it's difficult to continue and that's why reasoning is an important part of playing and it can be playing a role play or it can be playing a play so you see there is a lot of mathematical learning possibilities uh, in working playing and making automata we have only used one example but uh, it is uh, almost the same with all the other automata. Yeah. What concepts you use are similar. They may var vary a little bit, but not that much. And uh, also you can find all the six fundamental activities of Bishop making them. And we encourage you to try it yourself. Yeah. Thank you for listening. <laughs>